Game of Thrones Season 8 is the biggest, stinkiest wet fart fans of anything have ever been forced to swallow. Everything about the season was just a literal shit on an incredible series built upon good writing, world building, character development. It took all of those elements and they wiped their ass with it. D&D, the writers, obviously had a clear vision of what the characters should end up as and that was clearly guided by George. I think what George wanted was the plot points they hit on here. But the season was so rushed, so ham-fisted, so rim job that everything was disjointed, unearned, with no proper development leading it there, which is why most people hate season 8. Apparently HBO offered them 10 episodes to wrap up the narrative, but they declined saying they only needed 6 to finish the story. And I can't imagine what kind of big dick play that was supposed to be, because they're not talented. This isn't like the James Bond shit. James, you have 10 minutes to kill the Archbishop and all of his henchmen. I only need 10 seconds, and then he executes it flawlessly. That was never gonna happen with D&D because they've never executed anything flawlessly. One of these fucking goobers wrote X-Men Origins Wolverine for God's sakes, so we're obviously not dealing with competent, talented people. And yet for some reason these borderline illiterate writers thought they could finish one of the most finely crafted stories in six episodes. It's just ridiculous. Now, season eight just wrapped up minutes ago. The finale was admittedly cute, and that's entirely based on the goodwill the characters built up over the seasons when the show was good. It was refreshing to see some of the characters we've liked since the beginning have a happily ever after. That was very cute, very wholesome and heartwarming. And there were some very cute moments in it. But narratively, the finale was absolutely fucking atrocious and nonsensical to an insulting degree. Uh, spoiler time, Bran becomes the king of the kingdoms. Bran, the guy who like three episodes ago said he would make a shitty king of Winterfell because he only lives in the past and has no human emotions, is all of a sudden like, wanting the throne and saying the entire reason for his existence is the throne. And then everyone agrees in a three-minute council meeting saying, yeah, Bran, the guy that fucking rolls his eyes into the back of his head four times a day, says one sentence every ten years, is a perfect fit for a king. This guy who fucking sits in his chair acting like he gets electrocuted half the day is the perfect fit to rule all the kingdoms here. It makes no sense, and even half the characters don't even know who Bran is, and yet they're voting for him to rule. It's just silly, and the most important decision takes place almost as an afterthought, like, hey, we've got Tyrion as a prisoner, uh, do you guys want to choose a king? Yeah, we probably should, let's choose a king. How about Bran? Sounds good to me. Who's Bran? I'm, you know, fuck it, I'm in. And then also, it makes no sense, because after Jon kills Daenerys, why the fuck would the Unsullied keep him as a prisoner? Why wouldn't they just kill him? I don't understand why they would take him as a prisoner. He would just be dead immediately. A Grey Worm should have killed him himself. That would have been totally in line for his character. There's going to be no reason to even have him as a prisoner. The only reason that happened is plot armor, and they knew they couldn't just kill Jon Snow in the finale. It's just bad. Every way you spin it narratively, the finale is bad. But there's some good shots, as there always is in Game of Thrones. The music in this entire series never, ever fell below perfection. I've always loved the music, and they still nail it. But narratively... It's just a complete shit. A literal hemorrhoid butthole shit. It's bad. I really don't think you could think of a worse ending narratively for this show. It would have been better if they had a fucking Avengers Endgame style finale where Jon is approaching the stairs where Daenerys is and then all of a sudden a portal opens up behind him and it's Ned Stark riding in horseback, two swords in hand, slaying the Unsullied on his way to Daenerys. Then all of a sudden from the sky, it's the Pegasus. All of a sudden the angels are now fighting Daenerys. Literally anything would be better narratively. That would make more sense than how this show wraps up and can Fucking Tumblr furry fanfiction would have been a better ending if all the characters just shed their human reptilian skin and then all of a sudden their fursonas are there having a giant orgy. That would have been narratively better than what we got. If during the meeting to choose Bran as the king, a puff of smoke appears and then all of a sudden it's Chris Angel there and then the Mind Freak intro plays and everyone starts bowing down to him and they choose him as king, that would have been a better king than Bran. Literally, Anything could have been a better narrative conclusion than what we got. Now again, I want to say the plot points that they hit on, except for Bran being king because that had never been explored, so I can't really see where George was going with it, but everything with Daenerys going mad, even Jaime Lannister's arc, all of it, I can see that being narratively well thought out in George's mind. I can see how the characters could develop to that point, and it could be really rewarding to have seen that develop on screen and then in the way it did and hit these plot points, but hitting them the right way instead of just being so abrasive and out of nowhere because they didn't have that development. They didn't 
put the time or the effort into it. Brand being king, I just, I can't wrap my dick around it all. That makes absolutely no sense to me. You're choosing a guy who says himself he's a shit king because he lives in the past. You're choosing a guy who himself says he is not even a human. Why would you want someone with no morality, no judgment, no care for humans to rule you? Yes, I get the argument of he can see past, uh, past and present mistakes and shit like that, uh, so he'll know what not to do. But Bran doesn't care. Bran himself says he cares nothing about what goes on in his corporeal world that he uh, he resides in. He's like ten planes of existence above us. He's up there with Alex Jones' level of galaxy brain garbage. And, and he talks in one sentence an episode, even in this finale where he becomes king, I think he probably said six, maybe seven sentences total. And they're just useless garbage sentences where he's acting like a pseudo-intellectual redditor. Oh, you're exactly where you needed to be, John. And then that's it. Like, it's fucking underwhelming and he's a shit character. So I don't see how George was ever going to steer him in a direction to be important enough where people would feel satisfied and have it be sensical that he is the king. Because I don't think at all it makes any sense for this universe. I think that leads to nothing but more chaos down the line. Because he's a guy who doesn't care. He's a guy who's not even invested in the species that he's part of. So he's going to fall victim to all kinds of, de all kinds of bad decisions. Because he doesn't have any humanity in him. It makes no sense. I don't get that at all. I'm sure George had this idea of stretching him out, maybe discovering humanity, or maybe learning to care and then using his power to improve the world that he's seeing. I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to pretend that I can infiltrate George's mind and see the, the fucking strings that hold the universe together through his eyes or anything. All I know is Bran in this show should not have been king under any circumstances, as in quite literally is the worst pick for the king. Fucking Ed Sheeran from season 7 would have been a better pick for king. I mean, there's literally anyone else I think could have been better than Bran. All of them bad, Bran being the absolute possible worst pick for the position. Nothing in the story leads me to believe that that would be something that could actually happen in that universe. And I understand it's a show, it's just there for entertainment. And again, the episode was cute. I can't deny that. Because I was attached to some of the characters. I like the characters and I like seeing the happy ending. But I don't think that happy ending was deserved, earned, or anything built up to it that made sense. It was all on the back of goodwill from when the show was actually meaningful and actually well delivered. One episode of Kitchen Nightmares does character and narrative development better than the entirety of season 8 of Game of Thrones. It's just insultingly bad what direction they took the show in. And when you listen to the director's explanation for things, it makes you want to vomit. Like them saying, you know, Daenerys forgot about the Iron Fleet, which makes absolutely no sense. When Jon didn't pet the dog uh, when he was leaving, their explanation was the dog was CGI and we just didn't want to spend the money or time making that happen. I'm glad they did for the finale. I'm glad they could, you know, really get in there and take that big risk and really allocate those huge amount of resources to make a four second scene happen. I'm glad the heroes D&D at least did that much. Fucking heroes, the gods they are of writing. It's just bad and I can't vent enough about season eight. I still think the legacy of the show is a strong one. But man, has it been completely fucking tarnished in a certain sense. I, I, if you haven't seen the show, I'd recommend watching seasons 1 through 4 and pretending that it ended there and you may never get a conclusion unless they do like a Game of Thrones Brotherhood Full Metal Alchemist style and just redo from 4 onwards, taking it in the direction George wanted. Because George had a vision. The vision was really well done for the most part until he stopped the books. So if he ever continues them and there's more Game of Thrones, hopefully it'll be better. But, uh, you know, fuck. I, I, it's bad. It's shit season. Sorry, Game of Thrones fans. See ya.